Welcome back to Blar. We have a Frogger little arcade system on the thrift store for three dollars and forty nine cents. So I do like these things. I remember when they came out, and I thought they were like nineteen ninety nine or so. So when I see them for cheap, I pick them up. Being an arcade fan and growing up with these games, uh, they look kind of cool. This one isn't like a true representation, so it definitely has some use. And a, a quick, quick cleanup. Not too detailed. Just kind of wipe it off. So they all did turn on, which was nice. Didn't have to replace the batteries yet. Probably pretty soon. Again, I have to believe it's usually... Looks like it holds probably four double A's. Uh, yeah, the screen, I don't know if someone tried to clean it beforehand or... It's not the best. I always do like one disinfectant and then like dollar store baby wipes just to clean it off. Okay, like I said everything should turn on. You got a little bit of mark right there. All right, let's see how it looks. We can tell. These like not vector graphics, but uh. I forgot the name for this kind of graphic style. Let's turn it on. <laughs> That's kind of a frogger music. Alright, your frog's way down there. It's going to be kind of hard to... Uh, maybe, maybe we'll make it in. I'm guessing that's okay. It's a log. So close. Let's try to get one in. Let's go back here. Alright. So let's play. And actually, that plays a little easier than I thought. I'm just, just rushing it. Because since things blink in and out, you kind of can tell when they're going to be there and when they're not. But it does work. Colors look okay. Turn that off. That's a cool cabinet. I like the cabinet and the, the size are good. This is not a my arcade, I guess. This is whoever made these. Anyway, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.